is day 14 of the 15 day crafty challenge. And for today's project, I am flipping over trash to treasure by turning an old pillow cover that was headed out the door into some really cute spring themed decor. Now let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, your Cricut and crafting channel, where I post Cricut tutorials and projects and inspiration multiple times every single week. So if you're looking to master your Cricut cutting machine, go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications so that you never have to miss a single Cricut minute. Now today is day number 14 of the 15 day crafty challenge where myself and some other crafty content creators are joining forces to help flatten that curve by encouraging all of you all to stay home, to stay safe and to stay crafty. And we are all doing that by putting out brand new crafting tutorials every single day, all the way up until April the 8th. Not only that, but we also have a huge list of brands that are sponsoring this video series by donating all kinds of crafty goodness for us to give away to all of you guys at home. Now, all you have to do to be entered to win is just simply craft alongside of us, then take some photos and post them on Instagram or on Facebook with the hashtag craft for the curve. It really is just that simple. So today I'm giving a brand new life to this old pillow cover right here. Not gonna lie, this pillow cover was headed towards the garbage bin. It was covered in those little lint ball, fuzz ball, whatever they're called, those little fuzz ball things. And I figured before I threw it out, I might as well try to figure out a way to save it first. So I just grabbed some hair trimming clippers, ran it along the pillow and it shaved all the balls off. So there we go. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna apply some HTV to make this a really cute spring themed pillow. So obviously first things first, I'm gonna head over to Cricut Design Space and get my design ready. Now today I am using a design in Cricut Design Space that is absolutely free right now. I'm not sure how long it's gonna stay free, but right now it is currently free. So what I wanna do is head over here to the left hand side of the page and click on images. And over here on the left hand side of the page is all of these filters. So I am gonna come down here to ownership and then select free. Now I'm gonna come up here to the search bar and just search for spring. And just as simple as that, here are all of the free spring images. I'm gonna use this image right here. The spring has sprung y'all, just because personally I like it. <laughs> so I am just gonna select it by clicking on it and then come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select insert images. There we go. So now I just need to figure out how big to make the image. So what I'm gonna do is grab my pillow cover real quick and my measuring tape. All right, so this pillowcase is about 20 inches by 20 inches. Now the good thing for us is that the image that we're using today is about as wide as it is tall. So that should make it pretty easy to figuring out how big we want our image to be on our pillow. So I personally think that something about 11 inches wide by about, let's say 11 to 12 inches tall will look good for this pillow. So let's just put that in Cricut Design Space. So I am just coming up here towards the top of the canvas where it says size. And right here next to width, I'm just putting in 11 for 11 inches hitting enter and there we go. Now I'm gonna come over here to the top right hand corner and select make it. Now, since we are using iron on vinyl, we need to make sure that we mirror all of our images. And we do that over here on the left hand side of the page right here where it says mirror. So we just mirror the mat with the black vinyl. Now I'm gonna come down here and select this yellow mat, mirror that one as well, and then do the same one for this green mat. Now I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select continue. And for my material, I'm just gonna select everyday iron on. All right, so this is what happens when you're quarantined and you can't go shopping for craft supplies like you're used to. I'm actually gonna be using smart iron on vinyl that is made for the Cricut Joy. And what I'm gonna do is lay this out flat onto my Cricut mat, cut it, and then lay out a second row right next to it. And as always with Cricut iron on vinyl, the shiny side goes face down. All right, so for this next layer with the sun, I'm actually gonna use this gold glitter vinyl. So that means I need to go in here and change my material settings. I am coming right up here and selecting this little down arrow and then selecting browse all materials. And then in the search bar, I'm just searching for glitter. And then selecting glitter iron on. So now that I have everything weeded out, what I'm gonna do now is just lay out my pillow cover. I'm gonna preheat my Easy Press to 340 degrees and set the timer to 30 seconds. 
So I definitely want to find the center of this pillowcase before we start applying our decals, right? So the way I'm doing that is actually folding the pillowcase in half, just like so, laying that out onto my mat, and then I'm gonna just go over it with easy press for five, 10 seconds or so, just long enough to leave a crease. And now I just wanna fold it the opposite direction as well. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see that on camera or not, but there is definitely a crease right there in the shape of a cross which just shows us where the exact center of this pillowcase is, which is gonna really, really help when it comes time to apply our decals. For this layer, which we kind of had to Frankenstein together, um, you just make sure that those pieces are perfectly butted up against each other. If you have any of this Cricut heat resistant tape at home, this will help out so, so much. All right, so now I'm gonna go in here with my Easy Press and do the whole 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Easy Press Mini and get the other pieces of vinyl. I am just gonna let this cool off from hot to warm before I attempt peeling off this transfer sheet. So I'm just gonna set this heat to medium. All right, so this is how I want everything to be positioned. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of peel this up for a little bit, go over here and preheat that area for about five seconds or so, place it right back where it was, and then go back over it for 25 seconds. And the reason why I'm using my Easy Press Mini this go around is so that I don't apply too much heat to our main decal right here. All right, so now I'm just flipping my pillowcase over and I'm gonna go over the back of this for another 15 seconds. So off camera, I quickly added some palm fringe around the border of the pillowcase and this is the end result. I would love to know what you all thought of today's project down in the comment section below. And if you liked today's video, please stamp that like button before you go. If you would like to be a part of an amazing group of Cricut crafters, where you can ask your Cricut related questions, get some answers, show off your finished projects if you want to, and then get plenty, plenty of inspiration, well then you definitely, definitely want to be in our brand spanking new Cricut Crafting Community Facebook group. It is such an awesome and very, very positive community of crafters and I'm just personally obsessed with it. Now it is exclusive to only the subscribers of this channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications and then click that link down in the description box below to request to join. Also, if you are feeling social, I would love it if you decided to give me a follow on Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, or on Facebook. All of those are linked down below as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay home, stay safe, and stay crafty.